Mr. Money in the Bank. Contest is a tag team championship tournament semi-finals match. And from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 202 pounds, he is Mr. Money in the Bank, T Italian Stallion. Guys, we have two of WWE's most exciting teams ready to go here tonight in tag team action. And I can tell you that the entire tag team division has eyes on this match right now. That's how big this one is. Mr. Money in the Bank. And from the wasteland, weighing in at 300 pounds, he is Mr. Money in the Bank. The man of a thousand holds. Ladies and gentlemen, we have tag team action coming up. And given the state of the tag team division right now and how incredibly competitive it is, this match might just make or break one of these teams. And from Switzerland, weighing in at 220 pounds, the Superstar. Guys, we have a big time tag team match coming up here. A big time match with big time stakes, Michael. Neither one of these superstars can afford a loss right now. From parts unknown, weighing in at 220 pounds, Van Handy. Ladies and gentlemen, we have tag team action coming up. And given the state of the tag team division right now and how incredibly competitive it is, this match might just make or break one of these teams. Both legal men are in the ring and set to start things off here. We're ready to go. Here we go, Man. fellas. I've been looking forward to this one for quite some time. On the shoulders here. And it could be a long way down from there. Big time impact from way up high. Looking at it here. He looks to be losing a bit of leverage here. Wow, he got out of it. Yeah, I'm not so sure he had it fully locked in. 
Ooh, what impact. Hooked up. What a driver. Teams like the Tolos brothers, Stevens and Patterson, Stevens and Bachwinkle, the Texas Outlaws, the Briscoes, the Blackjacks, the Andersons, and the list goes on and on. When you're part of a tag team, the two partners have to travel together, train together, eat together, and be completely in sync with one another. Oh, that might have just broken something. Tag team competition dates back all the way to the Early 1900s. Corey, you mentioned some of the classic duos from sports entertainment's incredible history. In today's WWE, the tag team scene has never been more competitive. I don't know who has the edge when it comes to talent, if it's Raw or SmackDown Live. I think it's too close to call, but all the teams truly think and act as one unit. I agree, Michael. Teams such as the Usos, American Alpha, Anderson and Gallows, The New Day, The Hardy Boys, Cesaro and Sheamus. I could be here all day naming championship caliber teams. And when the tag team scene is that competitive, you don't know which team will be wearing the gold. There have been times in sports entertainment when unlikely duos have formed and over time they develop and bond and become an outstanding tag team combination. The team that immediately comes to mind is the powerhouse duo of Cesaro and Sheamus. After their thrilling best of seven series, I wouldn't think they developed into a top tag team. I don't think anyone thought Cesaro and Sheamus would develop into a premier tag team. Over time, the superstars realized that they were better as allies than as enemies. And when they combined their incredible strength, the results were something that couldn't be ignored. It was really unbelievable to witness the evolution of Cesaro and Sheamus as a team. We saw them improve every week and conquer a variety of opponents. To see the Swiss Cyborg and Celtic Warrior go from unwilling partners to WWE Raw Tag Team Champions was truly impressive. Wow, what a leg sweep! Nailed it! Looks like he's starting to sweat now, but it's gonna take a lot more than that to stop him here tonight. It's decision oh, time, Cole. Does he try to get back on the offensive himself, or does he attempt to make a tag here? I know it's early, but he has to do everything in his power not to let this get out of hand. And he doesn't stay down for long. Definitely has his work cut out for him. This might be it! Oh, my! There it is. Yeah, that was lightning quick. Dodges that one. And off the tag. Oh, and he makes the tag. That was a game changer right there, Michael. In May of 2017, SmackDown Live saw an incredible women's tag team match when Charlotte Flair and Becky Lynch yeah. squared off against welcoming committee members Natalia and Carmella. Oh no, we know what this is. DDT! He's in control now. Cross the shoulders. Up and... I think only a group as treacherous as the welcoming committee could bring Becky Lynch and Charlotte Flair back together. Natalia's power set the tone for the match and gave her team an advantage. That was until Carmel... We got a cover. He got body on body there, but that's about it. What a kick out. He's on the defensive here. But we all know that he isn't afraid of a good fight, which is what we're seeing here. Most of the truly great tag teams in sports entertainment created a double-team finishing maneuver. The spike pile driver from Anderson and Blanchard, the heart attack from the Heart Foundation, the rocker dropper from the Rockers, or the doomsday device from the Road Warriors. A team needs to have a tag team fi He might have it. Ago, you mentioned some of the great tag team finishing moves in sports entertainment history. 
Don't forget about the 3D from the Dudley Boys or the double drop kick from the 2017 WWE Hall of Famers, the Rock and Roll Express. In tag team action, like in singles competition, once a duo nails their opponent with their finisher, that should signal the beginning of the end. It can take a long time for a tag team to decide on a double team finisher, but I agree. A team needs one, and it should be something that can be administered to any opponent. That's when a finishing move is truly effective. And since we're talking about tag teams, remember you and your partner have until the referee's five count to execute the move. Tag team history was made when the first ever SmackDown Tag Team Champions were crowned at Backlash 2016. The unlikely duo of Rhino and Heath Slater caught lightning in a bottle and ran through the Tag Team Title Tournament. In the finals, Rhino and Slater took on the Usos to see which team would be the inaugural Tag Team Champions. Oh boy, he is winning! There was a lot on the line in the Tag Team Tournament Finals. The Usos wanted to add another Tag Team title ring to their resume and enjoyed the recognition of being the first ever SmackDown Tag Team Champions. The team of Rhino and Heath Slater was the team no one expected to be in the Finals. Slater had extra motivation because he was fighting for a WWE contract. And at one point, it seemed like the Usos had everything well in hand, but Rhino and Heath Slater refused to lose. After a good... Uh-oh! Is he done? And he breaks free just when you thought he was out of this one. What a strike. Takes him down in a major way, too. No, he reverses it. Harsh impact. Look out. Oh boy, he is rolling. Avoids trouble there. He looks for it once again. Slam down hard. He might just win this thing right here. He was a goner. Ooh. Tagged in. Oh, and Enziguri taking quite a beating here. I don't recall the last time he looked so fatigued. That's over at this point. He's a big trouble. An incredible combination. Here's his moment, Michael. One of the most amazing combinations you will ever see. Boom! Oh. 